Okay, hi there, it's Murray Stafford, and this is my fourth update for the upcoming winter season. And I'd like to invite you to join my pro site if you haven't done that. If you go on there, you're going to see a lot more information about what I'm thinking about the upcoming winter, as well as other when, uh, weather events that affect the Ohio Valley. So those of you that have watched my other videos know that this is the pattern that I'm expecting us to see this winter. The pattern uh, is due to a strong high pressure over the Pacific Ocean, which will give us a La Nina. Um, I'm also expecting a positive PNA over the Western United States, which helps to make this ridge of high pressure even bigger. That creates a trough over around the eastern United States, which should bring colder than normal temperatures to the Ohio Valley, along with frequent Alberta clippers and frequent nor'easters, which is all going to mean colder than normal and more snow than normal for the, the Ohio Valley. Another part of this is a high pressure over the North Atlantic due to a negative NAO. So where are we with all of this? Well, this is the ocean temperature anomaly map for today, October 17th. And as you can see in the area that I've circled here, we have very cold water over the South Pacific Ocean. And this week, on Thursday of this week, as I predicted, NOAA announced that we are officially in a La Nina. They've been hinting that this could be happening soon, and I suspected that it would happen this past week, and it did on October the 14th. This graph shows uh, what's happening with that. This is the ENSO or the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Um, on the positive side of this graph, we would be in an El Nino. On the negative side of this graph, we are in a La Nina, and you can see um, for several months now, the, the trend has been on the negative side, but in order for it to officially be a La Nina, the temperature of the ocean water has to get at least 0.5 degrees below normal. And you can see as of about a week ago, that is right where we were. We were down uh, around 0.5 degrees. Then it kind of leveled off for a few days, but look what has happened in the last few days. This thing is just dropping, uh, dropping like a bomb. And it, it looks to me like this may go into a moderate or even a strong La Nina. Noah had been predicting a weak La Nina, but when you look at the way that this is dropping right now, it looks like that this could go pretty far negative, which I think is going to bring us a strong La Nina. So this is the weather map uh, for, well, this was today's map for tomorrow. And you can see over the Pacific Ocean, we have a strong high pressure, uh, obviously because of the La Nina. And so this strong high pressure is going to cause low pressures or storms to go up way up here to Alaska. And then they're gonna come down into the North Central United States and then kind of go off to uh, the East like this. And so this is the pattern that we should start to see here very soon. Like I said, this is the map for tomorrow, Monday, October 18th. Of course, another thing that I mentioned there was the PNA or the Pacific North American Teleconnection. Uh, when you have a positive PNA, that means you have strengthened high pressure over the Western United States. And you can see um, as of today, the PNA was just about neutral, but this red area over here is showing what is expected over the next few days. And you can see we are expecting a sharp turn toward the, the positive, which should give us strong high pressure over the Western United States. Now you can see it's questionable as to whether or not that PNA is going to remain positive. It could start trending negative again, but at least for the next few days, we are expecting a positive PNA. And you can see on this map here, which is just a couple days from now, this is for Wednesday, October the 20th, 
we see a high pressure over the western United States. And so this will create that ridge that I'm expecting over the west, and that will help to drive these lows down into the Ohio Valley coming, uh, I think, possibly very soon. The other part of the forecast depends on the NAO or the North Atlantic Oscillation. And with the NAO, whenever it goes negative, that gives us a high pressure over the North Atlantic Ocean. And you can see as of today, we are already very negative. And the trend over the next few days is for the NAO to remain negative. And then after that, it may start pushing towards positive again, but still in the negative area. And so this um, negative NAO is going to set up a high pressure over the North Atlantic, which will block lows and cause them to loop up along the eastern coast of the United States. And then this map is um, also from today. And this is the 500 millibar wind map, which is a good indicator of the jet stream. And you can see what we're looking at right now is basically the pattern that I've been predicting. We're gonna see uh, the polar jet stream uh, ridging over the Western United States and then taking a strong dip over the Eastern United States, which is going to put the Ohio Valley right into some very cold air. And most of you probably know the last couple of days, it's been pretty chilly and I'm expecting this trend to continue. In fact, if we go a few more days out, this is for one week from today, um, October the 24th. There have been indications, strong indications for the last several days now that around the 24th or 25th of this month, we could see a very cold spell. And you can see these temperatures here in the 30s across the Ohio Valley. This would be Sunday morning, October the 24th. And with high pressure coming across the Great Lakes, I think around the 24th or 25th, it's very possible that we could see our first snowflakes flying in the Ohio Valley. And if we can see those temperature trends uh, continuing to be on the cool side, it seems like all the ingredients are there right now for us to have an early start to winter. Uh, I, I'm really expecting uh, once we get into the first half of November, we could see some serious snows coming across the Ohio Valley. And again, so this is the pattern that I'm expecting. And really, it seems like the pattern is already here. Uh, if we can just get uh, the temperature to be dropping a few more degrees, which it looks like it will, we could start to see snows in the Ohio Valley soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't joined my pro site yet, again, I invite you to do that. It's at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley Weather. And you'll see uh, a lot more in-depth discussions about these weather events and more if you go there. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.